You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph. Bloodline, Part 1 I want to start this series by reading Psalm 139, verse 13 to 17. These are incredible scriptures. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Verse 16. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. This is astonishing, because it says in your book were written, and in the original King James Version it says all my parts are recorded, every one of them. My body parts. You know who I am, where I came from, my looks, the curve of my ear, my nose, everything, my shape, my frame, my eye colour. The days that were formed for me, when as yet there were none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. People, Whoever's listening out there, get this, never ever underestimate your worth to God. And really it isn't about you in one sense, it's all about a great God, whose love for you is way beyond reason, beyond your self-talk or what others might say about you. His love is beyond those dark days that many can have, often alone. And when we're talking about our worth to God or your worth to God, we have to journey back into the Old Testament and do a sort of a study. You see, there were Gentiles and there were Jews. And when Jesus came, he came for his own people. He was the long-awaited Messiah for the Jewish nation. The Bible says he went into his own and his own received him not. So he came for the Jewish people. And in Matthew and Mark, when he sent his disciples out two by two, he said, pray for people and perform miracles in my name, and go and heal people. But he said, when you do this, it's only to the house of Israel, or household of Israel. Then he gave this strange instruction, don't pray for anyone who's not of the house of Israel, meaning that, They are not in the bloodline of Jewish descent. And in Matthew 15, a woman with a demonized daughter approaches him and pesters him. And he ignores her and the disciples want to send her away. With the story revolving around the fact that she was a Gentile, a Canaanite. And in Matthew 15, 24, he answered and said, I am not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it's not good to take the children's bread and listen to this, throw it to the dogs. Called her a dog. But I love this woman's tenacity. Verse 27, she said, true, O Lord, but even the little dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's tables. So Jesus was so moved, he basically said, I'm not supposed to do this until after I'm crucified or Calvary. I'm going to skip a whole dispensation, and because of your faith, I'm going to heal your daughter, because you're getting into what I'm really here for. And there's one very important theological aspect to everything we're talking about. God is greater than his law. In our day, there's no real understanding of how important to the Jew was their heritage and the keeping intact of their race. Many see their bloodline as an obstacle, not an asset, a disadvantage rather than an advantage. For the Jew, then, it was incredibly important as to who their tribe and forefathers were. Everything about them, their identity, their sense of who they were, their stability, came from their bloodline. The sum total of the Jew was connected to Abraham. All the laws and traditions and customs were tightly bound into their race. 
And so their influence with God resided as to whether or not they were a son of Abraham. It just wasn't important. It was deeply ingrained into the minds and hearts of every Jewish person and taught from a very early age. It was in their veins. Abraham made a covenant with God and God said, I'm going to bless everyone in your bloodline. Paul the Apostle talks about Gentiles, non-Jews, being aliens from the commonwealth. Wrong inheritance, wrong genealogy. No part in the favoured legacy. And so we had the nation of Israel who kept intact their bloodline through laws upon laws, pure, impure, holy or common, foods to eat and foods to despise, all sorts of rules and regulations around clothing and morality and how to approach God. And usually only one man could. Aliens were just that, aliens. Keep listening. I'm going somewhere with this. God bless you.